okay? So, Clayton, I didn't miss anything today. Welcome back to Blessed Performance YouTube channel. Today, we're going to have a quick little talk about our intercooler, and then we're going to show you how to install it without tearing the whole front of your truck apart. Is our Blessed Performance intercooler? Yes, we can powder coat it for you. Obviously, that can cause some some sealing things. This is going on my truck. My uh, my powder coat guy will be coached on not to do it right here. Okay. <laughs> Needless to say. Our intercoolers are tested to 100 PSI. Pretty standard intercooler here. It's all aluminum casting, all aluminum housing here. All welded together, tick welded together. Bar and plate design. And these are gonna be a great upgrade for your factory ones. Your factory one has a plastic housing on the outside if you didn't know that. Plastic with some tabs molded over to fit, the, uh, to fit up to the tanks here. Well, what happens after age, and these trucks are getting older, we're 20 years and more right now. With age, <coughs> those seals like to go bad right there and you're used to making 26 pounds of boost, all of a sudden you're making 16, and you go through all these sensors and all this di diagnostic work and everything else like that to find out that you just have a bad intercooler and it's time to replace it. So now we're gonna show you how to replace it. Yes, you can order this on our website to match your air deflector, your wire loom, your coolant tank, your charger cooler pipes, anything else that we offer that can be powder coated, you can match it all the same. Will you see this? Probably not very good. That being said, it'll still look kind of cool when it's going in. <laughs> it'll look great when you get out of the box. How about that? This is for the 6.0 Power Stroke. It's got the brackets built in right here to mount to the frame. And then it's got for where your number, your uh, 10 millimeter bolts bolt up. Pretty straightforward installation process. I've got some tricks up my sleeve to where you don't have to take the radiator and drain the coolant and all that crap out of there. So we're gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, we're gonna probably show some music while I take this apart, but I'm gonna show you guys a quick rundown. Of course, you gotta pull with our air deflector, you got to pull your radiator support bolts right here. Pull these out of the way. You want to take the tabs out of the air deflector, and then you need to pull your hood latch right here. Now, generally, when you take the hood latch off, there are markings on the hood latch for scuffing. Okay, so that way you don't have to worry about the alignment issues, if you will. That being said, what you, if you want to, you can take and, and mark it, okay, with a pick or something like that, and mark your bolts here. Or you can do it with a paint marker, anything. I know that behind here there's some markings, so I'm going to be just fine taking it out. So we're going to take all this apart right here, and then this brace right here, it goes across the front of your, the, the pull, the, it's the core support, I think is the best way, as a technical term for it. There's two bolts here, and two bolts here on either side. You got to pull all four of those, and then you got to take apart, take the bolts off that hold your intercooler in place right here. Now we have a CSF intercooler in here, unfortunately, for me, when my CSF intercooler showed up a year and a half ago, it was broken. I called CSF, they blamed it on UPS, and told me to stick it where the sun doesn't shine. Well, that's in there. Okay, so we've been running it. The intercooler is okay, it's just the tab, the mounting tabs are broken. So it's about time we change it. It's causing some fitment issues and rubbing issues on the, on the pipes in here. So we're going to get that changed out today. We'll show you guys the process. I'm going to get working on that. Realistically, what I should have done, I didn't scratch it, thank goodness, but I took a big risk there, letting that drop in there. Just take that and put that like that, so that way when this sets down in there, it doesn't hurt it. Now we got the two eights there, we're gonna grab our two tens here. And then now, I'm gonna grab this and pull it out. Now that this is out of the way, Take your hood latch and kind of swing it up front here, out of your way. There's usually a little tab sitting right here, holding it in place. Next, we need to pull the AC condenser. Gotta pull these guys first. Pull the AC condenser mounts off the top. These are an eight millimeter bolt, like that. Grab these out of the way. Everything else is out of the way, which should be good. So normally you'll have a power steering mount right here on our truck. We did change it up a little bit. I don't remember why, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But we did change it up to where that's not there anymore. So you'd have to remove that. But basically you're just trying to move everything that mounts to the core support here. So next I'm going to come over here and pull this one because there's the only one I got left. Okay, there's that. Now, because mine's missing and I gotta be honest, I don't know where that other bolt or where this other studded mount is at. I might have one off a spare truck outside. I'm gonna go grab 
I think you can get these from your Ford dealership as well, these, these grommets and these bolts. I think I have, a, I think I have one outside on a, on a parts truck that I have, so I'm gonna go steal it for this truck in the long run. Next, we're gonna pull these four bolts in here that are 13 millimeters. At least it wasn't in the motor. At least it wasn't in the motor, he says. I mean, he's not wrong. A nice strong magnet is a really good mechanic's friend. Now we've had the front of this truck apart before. That's why, and I gotta adjust it a little bit. Um, if you guys watch the King Twin series, I gotta adjust it. That's why those radiator mounts aren't spot on where they're supposed to be, so. Not the end of the world. Now, if we didn't have dual battery tray on this side for the compounds, you can get to this with an impact and a ratchet or a socket on this side. Because we have the two batteries on this side, that ain't happening. Okay, now that you're here, sometimes you'll have some like foam padding in here, like we have on this side. But you don't want to take this, pull it this way, and work it up out of there. Just like that. Get yourself a little spacer here. We got a bigger one. Here, we'll use that part. Just something to give yourself some leverage. Oh wow. Sometimes you'll have to take it, hit that side back down, and from there, a little more leverage never hurts. Okay, so that's broke free out of there. Now you just work this out of here, and then from there, you'll loosen up your charge jack with the boots and then pick it right out. You'll have to kind of finagle it around the things that are down here. It's not the end of the world, but there is some lines on the way and whatnot. So you'll have to finagle that a little bit, but you can usually get it around and work it out of here. So, then do that next. Usually these are 11 or 10, one or the other. Make sure they're both the same. That side's a 10, this side's an 11. Sometimes, depending on the charge air cooler pipe that you have, you might have to pull the charge air cooler pipes all the way, which I think on because of our design, you're going to have to because of the way this is set up. I'm going to tell you guys right now, it's not normally that difficult. Uh, this is because it's compounds. We have a lot going on in here right now. We're changing out the brake reservoir, and I'll give you guys a quick rundown on that. I'm just going to take and set that in there like that. So from here, you've got to, got to plan your attack, which way you're going to come out with it. As you notice, it just picks up. So I think I'm going to have to remove this bad boy to get these power steering lines out of the way. Oh, Needless to say, you don't have to drain the coolant. Oh, they took this out. Up it would probably be a lot easier if the dang battery tray wasn't in the way, like it's not on anything else. Here, hold this side up for me. Okay. Got it? Yep. Okay, now we should have to get it out of there. Yep, there she is. Okay. I feel like I have a finger. Clayton's big head's in the way. <laughs> if it was stock, that wouldn't have been a problem. It would have been a lot easier. This truck's not stock, as you guys all know. There's a few things in the way. 
Did you get that clamp out of the way? Clamp? Oh, right there, yeah. There's clamp. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we're gonna install, we're gonna install our Blessed Performance Charge Air Cooler. And I'm gonna scratch the living daylights out of mine, probably. We're not even, nobody's gonna see it anyway. You know, I like to make it look cool. Look good for camera. There we go. Oh, I don't think it would've been so much of a pain if the dang CSF one, I mean, look at that cut. Because it was broken, they cut the living daylights out of me. So that thing's going on the scrap bin. Now it's just a reverse, really. Um, so, so I'm sure we'll just chime on through. Make sure that you put your coolers back in place and we will get the rest of this put back together. Now, you can take and put your boots on, your pipes on and your boots on next, or you can put the core support back in. Either way, not gonna really matter which way you go. I'm gonna put the core support back in so this thing will push back, I can mount it. I like to go through and get all eight of these started before I'm gonna head off camera here. Your intercooler from Blessed Performance comes with the standard two year warranty. I think that's what we have, Julie. I think it's what it is. Anyways, the warranty's listed on the website. It's rated to 100 PSI. It's an all aluminum, constru aluminum construction, so it's not gonna pop when you're hitting 25, 30 PSI with your KC Stage 1 in the Valley. I'm running this on a comp compound setup that makes 55 to 60 PSI on, a, on, on our race tune, and it's holding it. It's going to hold it just fine. I don't have any doubts in that. Obviously, you guys are watching us. Come out and check it out at the show at some time and see it in person. Yeah, I think that's about it. Be sure to click like, subscribe, follow. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Go on the website, order it up. You can order it in all of our powder coat options. We're going to offer that because, you know what? Yes, you can't see it that great once it's installed. But you can see it through the grill just a little bit. So... It'll just look kind of cool if your air deflector is red and your intercooler is red, your charger air cooler pipes are red, your wire loom, your degas bottle's red. All of those options are going to look pretty sweet in here. Be sure to hop on the website, check them out, get one ordered up today, and uh, give us a call with any questions. 1-800-577-2698. Thank you so much for all the support. We truly appreciate you guys. See you on the next round, okay?